Hey guys, what's going on? This is Joe Buddha, Joe Tadaro. Uh, this is a three note alternate picking exercise, uh, chromatic exercise, starting on F, uh, first fret on the low E string. Um, this exercise starts like this, one, two, three on the low E string. With your right hand, with your picking hand, you're going down, up, and down. When you move to the next string, since it's alternate picking, you're gonna go to the A string on an upstroke. Up, down, up. This is called outside picking. When you go from one string to the other on an upstroke like that, you're going outside the string and coming back up again. That's the initial cell of the exercise. Six notes. Then you move on to the D string and the G string and you play the same thing. One, two, three on the D, down, up, down. One, two, three on the G, up, down, up. Then you move to the B string, down, up, down on the uh, G, on the B string, up, down, up on the E string. So one, two, three, down, up, down. One, two, three, down, up, down, up. One, two, three, down, up, down. One, two, three, up, down, up. One, two, three, down, up, down. One, two, three, up, down, up. Now, once you get to this note, G, third fret on the high E string, you're gonna repeat that note starting on a downstroke. Since the last note you played was an upstroke, the downstroke is gonna be the next stroke you play. Down, up, down, going backwards, three, two, one. Then going to a B string on an upstroke, this is inside picking now. Up, down, up on the B string, uh, three, two, one. Then starting on the G string on a downstroke, down, up, down, uh, three, two, one. Then D string upstroke, up, down, up. A string starting on a downstroke, three, two, one, down, up, down. E string upstroke, up, down, up. So slowly on that fret, this is the exercise. So when you play this exercise, you want to make sure that you're not making big motions with your right hand or your left hand. You want to kind of economize the motion. I find that watching my hands in a mirror while I play it works great. Also, I practice this by starting on the low E string, or starting on the first fret, moving up to the second fret, third fret, fourth fret, going each fret to the 12th fret and back again. Um, so with the metronome, we'll beef up the metronome, we'll pump it up to about 120 beats per minute, I'll play it as triplets. So triplets at this speed would be... Also, you can switch to your second, third, and fourth fingers for this. Helps build up the strength in your pinky. Again, play that from the first fret to the 12th fret and back again. Um, when you're playing this, you want to make sure that, again, you don't pull your fingers too far away from the neck and you want to keep your thumb perpendicular to the neck, so facing up in the opposite direction of the neck, so this way, and you want to parallel behind your second finger of your left hand. Okay, and when you move your hand, you want your hand to move in that position. It's the only thing that's going to allow your hand, this part of your hand, to open up enough so that when you play scale runs up and down the neck, you'll still be able to play. Even when my neck, uh, when my thumb peeks out of the top of the neck, it's not doing this. It's flat against the neck, perpendicular to the neck, and parallel to my second finger so that my hand can remain open. Okay, this is really important. Um, other than that, just make sure you're not playing two downstrokes in a row, two upstrokes in a row, and make sure that your picking motion comes from your wrist. You don't have to keep a closed fist like I do. You can have your picking hand at any position you want. Just make sure that the motion is coming from your wrist and not your elbow. Um, that's basically it. I'll see you on the next lesson. Thanks a lot.